Welcome, welcome, welcome to Hess Reacts. I'm Mike Hess, and we're going to be doing a reaction to an album called Dimensions by Cobana. And uh, it's got features from No Safety, Luffy, FNO, Dell, Skippy 4X, and Formezzi. I assume some of these members are part of his certified dreamers group. I've heard some of their names before, and I've reacted to uh, actually a certified dreamers track. So, let's get right into this album by Cobana. Co, get back to work. <laughs> she think I'm in love. I can't oh. need love. I can't. I don't want to run. But I got to rush. Diamonds, they gon' dance. Is that shit that you can't touch? Very, like, calming piano chords. Reminds me of something K-Suave would do. Like on a Thought Slayer project, big fan of Thought Slayer. And the stylistic choices of the letters are like very like sort of cloud trap sounding like some shit that a cloud trap rapper would do. Mexico Dro sounding beat. I'm not a fan of the 808 though, like, um, thing about the new modern spins 808s is they don't, they're used good, but the majority of the time they don't land because of how short the 808 it goes, so there's not much of an impact of it, it's just really quick and honestly cheap, the 808s in this, the, the melody's good, the hook's good, simple, but you know a lot of modern percussion is just very i don't i don't like it a lot of it's really cheap there is a couple sound effects in there i do like oh i love this that synth sounds really good it sounds like something on like a whitney houston album Rest in peace, Whitney Houston. This shit's fire, honestly. I like this better than his last album. It's way more modern, to be honest, and I like that. But his last album was actually really good. He just sounds like a really younger uh, K-Suave. But with a dose of his own thing. I fuck with K-Swap though. That's a bro. Yep. That's a good line. The, the one about seeing girl in dreams. I want someone to make a song about how, like, girls can haunt your dreams. Because that shit fucking happens. Or, like, them being in your dreams is not always a good thing. Like, an alternate perspective. I'll write that song. I'm a fucking artist. Yes, I shaved. Okay? Like, look at this shit. I don't like it. We'll be back soon. The normal programming of my facial hair. Oh. Oh, that chop. That, that pitch down. I like this. <laughs> the synth's fire. Sounds like a similar whistle synth used on Kyoto by Young Lee. A lot of really good whistle synths used by Young Lee. Mm. I assume this is Kobana because he's saying he's from Philly. Because I know, I mean, I know that he's from Philly. Like, I talked to him before prior to this. Oh, 
lot of reverb on this one. I like the way the percussion is done. This is one of the better songs when it comes to percussion, as well as the melody. It's probably my favorite song so far. But I mean, we're only three songs in, you know. Oh, this is Skippy 4X. There's like a mum there's like a humming but like really loudly mixed and pitched down. Don't know how I feel about it. It's okay. Black Cray does that better. The ending's pretty cool. I like that ending. Oh, yeah, I've heard No Safety before. He's pretty good. What are you willing to do to show the world yeah, right. what you truly are? Oh, this has to work. <laughs> We're gonna turn it up. I be so in love. It's just fire. I'm trying to interview him and ask him about shrooms if he really about that shit. Because I know a lot about shrooms. What does that mean? Alright, whoever did this verse, their mixing is garbage. No, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can, I can hear the fucking smoke alarm beeping. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But sometimes I do hear that shit. The fucking beep. Someone's podcast. I think a little B was on a fucking podcast with like some billionaire, and the fucking smoke alarm was beeping like once every five minutes. It was so fucking funny. This is cool, but I, I assume. Oh. Yeah, I remember liking this person. This person has got real good bars. Right, that was weak. That little song part was weak. Just cut that all. That shit, my songs go viral. You don't hate me, you just hate that I'm winning. You won't date me unless you want a tennis. Anything I say, these niggas get offended. We don't Alright, bro, the fucking gun so shot sound effects, bro, stop that shit. Dude, if I hear that shit one more time in this album, I'm gonna be mad. This shit gets corny. I'm not gonna hold you. Bro, fuck out of here. Like, I gotta be honest, this shit, I fucking hate that shit. This gets annoying. Only space because Perp can do the repeated sound effects of shit. The uh, fatality shit. That shit was funny. on fucking the fucking Black Lane Radio 666. All right, next one. Paris interlude. Or Cobain to be in Paris. If you check his Instagram, you'll know that. International. This is groovy. Yeah, this is that like old. Yeah, this is that fucking. This is the. Yeah, this is his other sound. I like this shit too. It sounds like his last album. A song on his last album. I could save time like Ico. 
bro. Geico saves per fifteen percent percentage on your car insurance. I mean, save time. Okay, yeah, cause it said fifteen minutes. All right, that's a good line. Fuck, I'm thinking too much. But I mean, that's my job. You know what I'm saying? Like. I like this. This is one of my one of the better tracks. Alright, next one, double down. Oh, I love the chords on this. Oh, it's surreal. Yeah, he's a good producer. Who made songs for my my friend Jace is rapped on some of these beats. Bro, gunshots on effects, bro. Fuck, man, that shit. Space Ghost purposely king of fucking sound effects and music. Okay, and nobody can do it like him. Mine. All right, this beat's good, but it's just kind of like. At least this album isn't like fucking trip at night where everything, every beat sounds the same. You know, like shit. Yeah, this is good. All right, this this synth's getting annoying though. Like, I wish there could have been a counter melody, bro. A lot of these fucking beats with the spacey synths have like the same fucking filter put on them, like like the fucking Drake. Other room filter, like we get it. Like, shit. Yeah, this is one of the weaker tracks. Yeah, alright, this is a one week or something. Like, there's better. The Paris shit, that shit had a real soul to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was. It had, had a lot of soul to it. But a lot of these songs with the spacey, spacey trap shit, it gets boring. I'm not gonna lie. This shit's better than the last album because it was really, like. Honestly, it's not better than the last. I don't know. The last album had a lot more soul to it. Like, way more deeper songs. But I could play this shit at a party, like a little bit, couple of tracks. It's not that bad, but. I'm liking how the song don't have no gun sound effects. Right, the ending was actually pretty well done. Right. Live from the 215, we coming at you straight from Philadelphia. You know what it is, man. Today we got one of the best rappers that's killing the game right now. He's just doing his thing. Y'all already know it's called Bonna, baby. All right, that intro is like, okay. Well, it's kind of annoying when every fucking song has the same 808 and the same clap and the same fucking snares and hi-hats. 
Except for like a couple. Except for like the pair of shit. That's like one of my main problems is like there's the fucking There's nothing dynamic about the fucking percussion. Like Like I never try to use the same 808s twice. I never try to use the same clap or snare. Like I, I usually put turn up the volume on the clap, pitch it all the way down, add hella reverb, and it doesn't even sound like a clap. Like I never use the raw file. Most of the time I don't use the raw file of something. I distort it. I change it up with the percussion in my music that I make. You can say whatever the fuck you want about the music I make. I'm fucking proud of it, and that's all that matters. If Coban is proud of this, good for you. I'm just trying to say what the fuck I do with my shit. I don't know that you don't have a lot of control over the fucking beats because a lot of these are YouTube beats. Like I just know some of the producers and how they're YouTube producers. I'm, I don't know if you buy the beats or not, but I'm just saying like I would suggest that you get more control over you know your beats. I do like the way that you edit certain sound effects and speeches and filtering over the beat to end it out, but there's more that can be controlled. And that's really what matters is control music good music is when you know how to control everything very well in my opinion Uh, this is okay. I don't know who this is, but this person's fire. It's for Mezzy. The, the melody is very boring. The only good part about this is the rapping and the sound effect. Not even the sound effect. Oh my god, dude. You could you could use some different sound effects. Like if you're gonna use sound gun sound effects, you could use a sword sheathing sound. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, motherfucker, get more creative, dude. You can do it. I know you can. The last album was real creative. Yeah, I'm gonna like this one. What? This shit's good. Yo. Oh, that bass in the background? Yeah. I like this. This shit's real good. That's cool. Like this mixing. Like this shit's really cool. This is probably the best. This is the best song on the album. Really good outro. Yeah, this is really good. I'm fucking with this.
Yeah, this is good. This is really good. That shit was good. Good outro. Pretty decent album. Not as good as the last one. But top three songs, I'm Awake, Paris Interlude, and With My Glock. Thanks for watching my reaction to this Cobain album. Let me know what y'all thought of this album in the comment section below. And be sure to click on the link to the album in the description. If you listen on your own. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.